Hi Sagittarius, today I'm going to be doing a general love reading for you guys. I hope y'all having a good day today. So we're going to see what's going on with you and your person regarding love. The person that is currently on your mind when you're watching this video. Who are you watching this video for? That's who this reading is about. So let's see Spirit Guides. Give me one card. There's a, like there's like this sexual energy around you. There's somebody here. They want to take it slow with you. This person doesn't want to just speed things up. They want to take things slow. Their name can start with Chris or a C or an H R I or an S. I look terrible. What is this person going to say to Sagittarius? I love you and so many things remind me of you. Somebody feels like everything that they've, it's like something is constantly reminding another person of you. I don't know what this something is, it's everything. It's like everything, if this person goes to the store and they see a car that looks like yours, it's going to remind them of you. It's like they love you. This is somebody that's in love with you. I feel like this person really does love you. I feel like... They think about you a lot. It's like I am in love with you. Not I love you, but I'm in love with you and I want to be with you. So I, I feel like there's somebody here that they know what they want. They're in love, like, and they want love. This is somebody that wants love because why else would they be saying this? Maybe this is somebody that hasn't communicated it to you, but they do love you. This is somebody that I don't know how I don't know what else to explain. Like, they're in love. Let's see. Let's see what's going on with Sagittarius regarding love. Somebody's in love. Maybe they're feeling something they haven't felt before. This person is... Maybe they're just determined to come towards you. Maybe this is just somebody that's like... Well, let's see. Okay, first of all, let's just see first. Let's just see first. Let's just see. Because somebody says, it says I love you, so somebody loves you, but let's see, because we can say that all the time. You Love is when you feel the need to want to protect somebody. Love is when you go above and beyond for this person. Love is when, you know, you can't explain what love is. Give me one more card, Spirit Guides. Maybe there's a feminine energy that's in love with you, Sagittarius. Or this is you. Or there's somebody in their energy. Hmm. You could be dealing with a Gemini or a Cancer. Give me one second. Okay, Sagittarius. This is somebody that's in love with you. Now, this person. Let me. Let me see. There's two lovers here. So let me show you something. But let me show you how this. So this person's in love with you, Sag. I feel like you feel the same as well. There's like, like, I feel like this person thinks about you a lot, Sagittarius. Like, this person's feelings are deeper than you know. And they really do love you. Like, this person feels like you are the love of their life. I feel like... I feel like this person is comparing the two of you females. They are, and this person is realizing he picked the wrong female. There's a male here that picked the wrong female, and they feel like they did. 
because let me describe it and they're not trying to compare you to this karmic but they're just showing you so this karmic energy when they were with this person it's like they drink they talk they they flirt you know there's this ba it's basically about fun drinking partying that type of love but with you sir just like they mirror you like they like to watch you they like to look at you they like to see themselves in you it's like this person learns a lot about you you reflect off of this person and you know it's like i feel like they're constantly learning something with you now look at this person it's like this person had you and another person and maybe this person's body is better than yours or they may feel it's better than yours or it doesn't have to be but we're just trying to compare here because that's what this is about it's like you know that this person shows their love through sex so there's a sex partner here and yeah this person is with somebody that's a sex partner a female here but it's like you were more vulnerable with this person you were very insecure about your body you're like more innocent here look at this person who is this person protecting who do they have their arm wrapped around you Sagittarius why because you made this person face themselves and the vulnerability it's just the vulnerability it's like the fact that you don't show your you and this person are both naked this person has clothes on and she's just throwing herself at your person. But y'all both are naked. Meaning you can be open with one another. Like, and I feel like you're very insecure. You're a very shy person. You don't do a lot. You're different. They love you because you're different. I don't know why I'm getting emotional, but this is an emotional reading. And it's like they're protecting you. They, they literally have their arm. Look at this. Their other arm is like somewhere you can't see it. But this arm is protecting you and they and it's secure like they're secure with you they feel secure with you they feel protective of you and what did i say when you're in love with somebody you know how you feel about them when you can feel secure with this person when you can feel protected it's like this person's feelings are deeper than they explain but this love is surrounded by fear surrounded by thoughts Surrounded by another woman, this other woman is the factor, is the factor of this love. This is the issue. There's this other woman. Maybe this person has to separate or has to choose to leave this person behind. But the only thing here that's stopping this connection is another female. This person protects you. They love you. You don't throw yourself at this person. It's like they could be open with you. But they always have this third party around. Spirit guys, why are you showing me this? It's like, because I feel like your person is starting to realize he picked the wrong lover here. He's starting to see something, clearly. Starting to realize, like, you know, I've, I've been through, you know, my life where... How is this person, how is this masculine energy feeling right now? Because it's like, I feel like he's feeling very much abandoned by a lover. He feels abandoned by you, Sag, because this person is genuinely in love with you. Like, I feel like this person could be open with you. This person feels like a piece of them is missing. They don't feel stable. They feel like they've lost focus or they've lost control over this situation. Their manipulation, them just not being able to choose you allows the situation to end. And so it's kind of like they feel left out by you. They feel abandoned. They feel alone. Yeah, they do. And it's like this person really admires you, Sagittarius. Like, look at this. Look at this. It's like even when you do show your body, this person admires you because of the way you do things. It's like they are committed to you. Like this person... And I just feel like this person may have not pursued you or they just, they were very insecure. This person is still insecure. It's like, look at you, Sag. Look at you. Fucking look at you. You're beautiful as fuck right now. Like, you are so beautiful. You are so passionate. You are so loving. You are so loyal. But this person was a cheater. This person couldn't see your value. This person chose to get with somebody here, a baby mother or a mother here. 
or they got with someone here and they stopped communicating with you. They basically thought that it was the right thing to make things right with a baby mother. Some mother is very manipulative emotionally, very selfish, non-expressive. You know, somebody that doesn't really show emotion. This is a very detached person. And I feel like they both avoid each other a lot. They both are ashamed of one another. It's just like this person is very manipulative. She call, talks a lot of shit. She tries to use manipulation. She's overly emotional. You know? And, you know, she just doesn't have anything going for her life. You are very creative. You're creating things nonstop. You're a fucking goddess. Like, look at your energy. Look at how beautiful you are. And this person is insecure. The thing is, they couldn't handle you. Their insecurities, their insecure side of, they can't. If they go out in public right now, I'm telling you right now, this is somebody that was very insecure. They, they accused you. See, look at this. The love keeps falling. Like... They keep falling. Like, I feel like this person just, they, them, they, maybe they rejected you because they wanted somebody they can control. They wanted somebody that was just, they didn't care about themselves. They wanted somebody that wasn't, I'm sorry to say this, and I don't hate or bash other women, but this person, you look better than this person. I'm sorry to say it. I'm sorry. But you do. This person genuinely feels like they're insecure because they can't handle a woman like you. You get everybody in the world. Every fucking one wants you. Look at how beautiful these women are. And I'm not saying that this person's partner isn't beautiful. But they fucking feel like you're gorgeous. You're beyond beautiful. They feel like you look better than their fucking partner. They feel like this is just a sexual fucking partner. This is somebody they're just tied to. This is somebody they just sleep with when they don't have you or anybody else around. And I know how fucked up that sounds. But they're just stuck with this person because of the fact that they have a child. Because of the fact that they have a child. This is strictly sexual based. They have no love for this person whatsoever. No passion for this person. Nothing for this person. They just love the, the fucking sex here. That's all this is. They feel so alone right now. They're with this person, but they're alone. Their passion has died because they see they feel like you're sleeping with somebody else. They do. They want to come in and make things right with this single person, with this independent person. They've been so focused on cutting a cord with someone else because they're in love with you. Like, for some of you, I don't know if you recently got a haircut. This person loves your fucking haircut. But they just want to make things right with you. You're very beautiful. You fucking, you just have this innocence to you. Like, God, they love that. I'm sorry, but this is just the energy I'm picking up on. Like... Yeah, it's like they want to come back and make things right with you. Like, they do. They they just want to come back. Like, they're very insecure. This person is fucking insecure shit. Like, I'm telling you. You go out in public with this person right now, they're going to be very insecure. And I feel like that may be an issue because, you know, if you love this person, they don't have to worry about you having eyes for nobody else. But they're just very insecure because this person, they don't think they're as attractive or beautiful as you. Like, they feel like... You, you're way out of their league. You're way out of their league. This person really doesn't feel like you would even, they don't even know how to even got someone like you. Like, serious. They run around with a, they don't even know how they got somebody like you. They do think that you're sleeping with somebody else and that's why they have to get something off their mind. Because I feel like you and this person both, you both want to talk. I feel like you're both defensive, but... You, you just, you've been there for this person so much when this person was wounded. You've always been that person, on this person's shoulder to lean on. You, like, have a special place in this person's heart. You're all, always touching this person's heart. This person fantasizes about making love to you all the time. I do feel like they want to, they, they're ending a relationship. They've been thinking about it. It's like they think about you when they're sleeping with this person. It's like it's becoming an issue, like... They, they're done. They're destroying this. They don't love this person. They're not in love with this person. They fantasize about being with you. Why? Because they're in love with you and they picture the two of you guys together. Of having a future with you. I feel like some of them did a love spell on you. I don't know what I'm getting at with some a piece of your hair. Like they did a love spell on you. 
And it's because they, they want to meet with you. They want to reconcile with you. It's just like they love everything about you, Sagittarius. It's like they can't stop thinking about you. Can't stop thinking about your, your private areas, your breasts, everything. They want to invest, like, everything. They want you. They just want you. They just want you. They do. They love your breast. They just want to be at your toe. They want to give you everything. They just want you. They just love you. They, I don't know what else to say. Like, they want you. They love you. They want to be with you. Like, what do I have to do to do this? This could be a new lover. Somebody you've ran into before. An old lover. It's just like, I, I can't. Like, they want to be with somebody that's innocent, loving, loyal, caring. They don't want to be with somebody that's jealous, very emotionally, over-emotional. I was like, look at this. What did I just say? I'm so attracted to you. And I know that I crossed the line with you. So this is somebody that's like, I'm so attracted to you. Like, you fucking drive me bananas. You literally drive this person insane, Sagittarius. I'm telling you. You do. You drive them insane. Because you're just so fucking gorgeous. Like, I love you unconditionally. Unconditionally. I love you and I love you unconditionally. You speak to me, to me through music. You're the most beautiful woman in the world. You're to fucking die for. Like, they lost themselves for a while. Like, I kind of got myself lost in the moment, you know? And it's like, I hope you can forgive me one day and I want to feel that way again. And I'm grateful for the spiritual lesson. This always comes out. I'm always grateful for the spiritual lesson. And it's just like... This person wants to feel that way again. They're, they're going to wait for a sign from you. That's up to you whether you give them that sign or not. But they want to feel this way again. They they love you. They know that they fucked up. They hide behind materialistic things. But they want love. And they want love with you. They've already made their decision. It's already been made up in their head. I feel like this person is more in love with you than you are in love with you. Like, I'm so serious right now. And this is somebody you wouldn't expect this from because you're leaving this person behind. Yep, let's see. What's that? How is Sagittarius feeling? We got what this person's feeling, but how is Sagittarius feeling? One card. You're pouring into yourself. You're healing yourself. You're loving on yourself. You've been at peace with yourself. You've been patient, you know, you've been planning stuff, you've been taking, you know, you've been happy, you know, you're happy. You're happy with the attention you're receiving. You've just been, you know, living your life. Some of you guys have just been pursuing other people. You've been getting to know other people. You've just been patient. You've been balancing your life. You've been healing. You've experienced... You've experienced a lot of pain with this person, catching this person sleeping on somebody else on you. Some of y'all, this pain, this was you. This is an ex-husband. For some of you guys, this is an ex-husband. But it's like you caught this person cheating for some of you, and that's kind of like you've healed from it. You've been in the energy where you were crying and you were thinking too much. You couldn't even get up. You couldn't love again. Now look at you loving yourself. Look at you patient, balancing your life out. Look at this change here. Went from crying to being at peace to being aligned to being where you need to be. For some of you guys, you've been through the pain and the pain healed you. It made you stronger. You have to feel the pain to heal the pain. Do I not say that all the time? This was this person's karma. They, they, this feminine energy that's codependent on your person was your person's karma. That's jealous of you. They're fucking jealous of you, Sad. It's like, but you had to feel the pain to heal the pain. You felt like you were treated extremely unfairly. You feel like this person just did not appreciate you at all. And you see yourself spending a life with this person. And now you're finally at peace. And you've been manifesting what you truly desire in life. You've been manifesting long-term stability for yourself. You've been manifesting somebody that's going to love you. That's going to love the fruits and labor that you deserve. I also feel like there's a masculine energy literally doing magic on you. Like they're binding you in love. Yeah, somebody's, or they're thinking about you too much to where they can manifest you. Your thoughts are very powerful. So this person is thinking about trapping you. Clarify the magician card. Yeah, they've been thinking about trapping you with long term. This is with a baby. Oh, with a baby. <laughs> I'm serious. What did I just say? 
What is the Empress? Long-term stability. This person is thinking about trapping you with a baby. Do you see that? Do you see that? Because you're fucking gorgeous. Look at you. You're very fucking beautiful. You're very, very beautiful. They're trapping you. They're going to trap you with a baby. It's like, I love you. I want to be with you for the rest of my life. And the only way I can do that is if you have my baby. Oh, wow. Give me one of these. Wow, such Okay. All right. All right. All right. So, guys, let's see. What did I just say? They're going to try to bind you with it. <laughs> Look at Addictions are affecting your romance. This person's trying to... <sighs> okay. All right. Yep. <laughs> yeah. This person's going to try to get you pregnant. I think it's genuinely because they want you to be their baby mother as well. And their feelings are growing and they just know that they're attracted to you. Yeah, they're attracted to you and they just know you'll be a great, beautiful mother. This person is going to, it says finances, finance issues in your love life are a factor in your love life right now. Um, this person may be trying to get their finances together or focusing on their finances because they are attracted to you. This love that they have for you is to die for, you know, and if they got to you know get their shit together so that they can come towards you because they want to have a heart to heart conversation with you they want to talk to you i honestly feel like there's somebody telling them how they feel like a baby mother but it's like look at this like i'm not focusing on you my passion is for sagittarius i want to be with sagittarius you know i don't want to be with you anymore i need you to just stop nagging me at this point like i don't want you or anybody else i want sagittarius and i know what i want so i'm gonna get that you know, I've been focusing on that. Sagittarius is who I plan on being with. Sagittarius is who I want to spend the rest of my life with. I want to spend the future with Sagittarius. I want to start planning towards the future. It's not over with me and Sagittarius. It's not over. So they're leaving somebody. They're moving away from somebody to come to you. I'm so serious. Look at this. Seven ties with somebody. Knight of Cups because they're in love with you. They want to come in and show you that they love you. Yep, look at this. Leaving somebody out and moving away from somebody to go towards who they truly desire and love. And we've been seeing this for so long. This is like a constant, when is it going to happen? It's going to happen very soon. Very soon. Could happen today. Could happen tomorrow. Don't expect it because we've been not expecting it. When you expect something to happen... That's when it's going to not happen because you're expecting it to happen. When you literally don't expect something to happen and it comes so unexpected like you were never expecting it to happen, then that's when it happens. Remember that, okay? So let's get the outcome for this situation, Spirit Guides. Let's get the outcome and we're going to get one card from here. Just because I'm just feeling called to pull a card from here. What's the outcome? This person is nervous. They're having sleepless nights about that because they've been really giving this a lot of thought. So I do feel like this person is very defensive right now towards somebody because they're protecting you. This person is protecting you because they want a new beginning with you. Yeah, they're protecting you. From what? This karmic energy. This this fucking evil ass person is trying to block your person. They're trying to do some type of magic on you, so I just do this. Some type it's not gonna work because they don't know what they're fucking doing. She's trying to mess with divine timing. She's trying to mess with it was divine timing. Yeah, this is over. And she's messing with divine timing. And when you mess with divine timing, I swear it's never gonna go your fucking way. So she's trying to block the two of you guys. But this love, y'all are so protected by the divine. Like, y'all protected that this is not going to happen and it's going to be over. Things are over. It's dead. It's done. They may not even communicate anymore. Your person may not even be involved with this person anymore. They just have other things going on in their life. Yeah, because they want a renewal with you. They want your forgiveness. Like, I feel like your spirit guides are bringing us together. Some of y'all are destined for a fucking son. You're going to be trapped. This person is about to trap you. No, but it was meant to happen this way as well. You guys were meant to have a son. So don't just 
think this person's coming in to trap you. Like you were meant to have a son. This person is about to come in and take this leap of faith. It's like this person had all different types of women they dealt with, and these women just care about their uh, fucking parents. But look at you on the ground crying because you feel. You know, like, you, this person knows that you had a lot of, they had a lot of t chances to do right, and they still dealt with other women. Now this person is about to take a leap of faith, and they're going to have a lot of karmic energies around them trying to stop them because they're pulling themselves back from these people. Yeah, there's also a baby mother or a wife here that's very distorted. This person is going to be very fucking angry. But these women, these two other women, your person is cutting the cord with these people, letting these people go. Because these were maybe your person's options. Because your person wants you. They want the woman that's not paying attention to them. They want the woman that's... They are in love with the woman that doesn't show off. That doesn't do too much that doesn't say much that's very quiet beautiful this person's in love with you maybe i just feel like these girls try to humiliate hum, hum, humiliate you humiliate you I just feel like these two women tried to make you sad or tried to do something to hurt you. I just genuinely feel like sad you were hurt by this person like you were. And this person wants to come in and do the right thing because they're in love with you. Like they're, they're in love and they want this change. They know who they want. They want you. They don't have faith in these other women. They don't believe in these other women. What did I say? They're in love with you. Queen of Cups. And that's the truth. That's the truth. It's like you and this person, y'all both have other people. But these are people y'all have just to avoid who y'all really in love with. Because these two people are in love with each other. This is you and the person. But this person can have like another masculine and then the, your person can have a feminine. These two people right here are just being controlled. I feel like sad you're literally just giving this person your attention so that they can, so you can really brush off how you really feel about this person. And this person is doing the same thing. So y'all both are using two people right here to hide from how, who y'all truly, what y'all truly feel. So I, I don't feel like you're more in a relationship. I just feel like you're... You're just giving somebody right here. Give me this. Show me this energy for Sagittarius. Yeah. You're just trying to get over your person while they're in a relationship. Or you're trying to get over him. But you keep thinking about your lover. The one you're in love with. And then your person is controlling this feminine energy. And just wants control over this person because they can't have you. Mm -hmm. So this person is making things work out here. Juggling this because they can't have you so you and your person you're trying to get over each other or trying to figure out ways on how to get over each other but all in all in reality you have to to make things right and do the right thing and just tell each other how you feel you know instead of doing this because that's kind of like you're going to hurt other people in the midst of this and you want to do the right thing you don't want to think about hurting anybody you think you're doing the right thing but you got to let these lovers go and stop using them for your happiness and just start going towards what actually makes you happy and stop lying to these people that you know have feelings for you that you don't have feelings for you're just trying to let go of these feelings that you can't let go of and you and your person is doing this just stop doing that it's not going to work out actually tell each other how you feel or you can stay quiet and not say anything at all but it's up to you okay so that's what I got for you guys. I hope you enjoyed this reading. I hope this gave you clarity. And I'll see you guys later. Bye.